Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to IT First Solutions. We are learning SQL built-in functions. In previous video, we have discussed SQL uh, built-in average function, and we have covered two use cases. In this video, we will discuss two more SQL built-in functions: SQL max function and SQL min functions. And also, in this video, we will discuss two use cases for each of these functions. So, first use case: SQL max function. First, understand what is this function. this function returns the highest value for the given numeric column and this value obviously will return the lowest or minimum value in that table for the given column okay so let's say we have first use case display product with minimum quantity oh sorry maximum quantity maximum quantity and then display product with maximum price so this is our these two are our use case for first and over here i will paste and then display product with minimum quantity and then minimum price so we will write query for for this one select then i will use in previous video we have used this avg keyword for the average function in this video we will write max and over here i will specify the column okay so i have column quantity as maximum price maximum quantity from products okay so next i will select max of price as highest price from products this will return the product with uh, highest quantity of a product and this will return the highest uh, you can say price of the product you can write uh, it, you can also display product names i will show uh, i forgot to display that product in previous function but i will show how to write sub queries in sql okay so first execute this one look at this we have maximum quantity uh, uh, of 100 and max highest price of 200 in our table you can make sure by selecting all records from our table and if you execute these three queries over here look at this we have maximum price of 200 and maximum quantities 100 and we are getting our desired output perfect okay next i will write uh, statement for here select min quantity as minimum quantity from products okay and then i will write select minimum price as lowest price from products okay so execute these two expand this one so look at this we have minimum quantity of 15 and lowest price is of 50 so this is how you can uh, get the maximum value of, uh, from of entire uh, numeric uh, column and uh, you can get minimum value but let's say we wanna uh, get the product name from this table so if you write over here name and then we have a name column for product okay So if you write this one over here and also this one over here, so click on this one, execute. Look at this. The product name is invalid in the list because it is not contained in either an aggregate function or group by class. We don't have uh, discussed group by uh, yet, so we will discuss group by uh, in upcoming videos. But let me show you. how to write sub queries to getting your desired output so i will select product and then i will select quantity as maximum quantity from products and then i will write where and over here i will write sub query where price oh sorry where quantity 
equals to and then I will select select min quantity from product so this is how you can write minimum uh, sub queries so this will get first uh, this will get the minimum quantity from products and then this will uh, display the list of products with the minimum quantity this will assign minimum value to this quantity variable so uh, let's say if you wanna display the price so you will write where price equals to and over here you will write select statement select minimum price from products okay so if you execute uh, these two queries now look at this we are getting our desired output this is a mobile of uh, quantity 15 and this is mouse of quantity uh, 50 you can now specify any columns you wanna you can use in your sql query and then uh, this sub query will filter these queries so this is how you can get maximum and minimum output uh, and this is how you can also write sub queries and you can specify this queries as uh, on the basis of where condition as well you can also write where condition in this query okay and you can use uh, oh, your operator trend or not in your conditions so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share this video with your friends and on your social media accounts so that guys can also learn this sql concepts We'll meet again with another video. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.